guys, welcome back to my channel. How are ya? Um, and if it's your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for being here and choosing to watch this video. So today I just wanted to share some stuff with you that I just bought. Um, I'm like in deep experimental mode. Um, and here's a little of my fall and Halloween decorations. I love skulls, my glass skulls. Yep, there's my whole, some Halloween stuff and fall stuff. So anyway, um, I got this awesome Pearl X pigment. This is, what is this? The, whoop, here you go. The duo green and yellow and then this one is just let me focus that it's pearl white and i got these the deco art in a um a local store of mine right up the block from me it's like an art supply store and like stationery store this is in lavender and what is color is this? This is purple. And yes, yeah, so I've been experimenting, adding some of this pearl into the gloss enamel. So that's been pretty cool. Um, and I'm going to do this today. And I got three color shift paint. I got the purple flash. I got, I think this is the Dragon Flash, and I got the Red Flash, and I got a really good price on it off of Amazon. It was only like three seventy seven each with the uh, free shipping, so yeah, I've been just like experimenting. I made a painting yesterday, and I'll show it to you in a minute, um, using like the Artist Loft acrylic um the premix paint as like a base and kind of alternating these paints with the artist loft um yeah and i've been adding these to the gloss enamel so it kind of came out really funky and very colorful to say the least but um yeah i just wanted to share that with you and i just wanted to show you the little cups i used um I just use these little cups here, and I took like the tip of the stick, and I just kind of dipped it into the pigment and put it in here in the cup. Um, and the medium I used was um, the Artist Loft just pouring medium. I wanted to keep it glossy um, instead of using the Floetrol. So I just add a little bit of that together, and it really came out very, very pretty. Um, I'm just going really wild with all these colors and just experimenting. And so, yeah, so these are the gloss enamels from Deco Art. Um, this is Pearl X, and this is Folk Art, I believe. Um, the color shift paint yeah folk art so yeah and the gloss enamels were I think about 250 each so that wasn't so bad and these were on sale for a uh, five dollars each just in my local store so and there's a lot in there and it's highly pigmented so um, you know a little bit goes a long way so today, I am thinking about doing a swipe technique. Um, I think this is my second one on this channel. And I will be using the some Artist Loft, uh, the premix paint. And I'll be like layering these all these different paints on top of one another. Um, and I'll, I'm just going to like do a, you'll see. Um, I'm going to do the swipe technique. And I will probably add the chameleon cells after that. I mean, who knows what I'm going to wind up doing. But I'm definitely going to do a swipe technique. And then I'll see 
what I'm going to do after that. Um, there's so many different colors, so maybe I will add some chameleon cells and see all these beautiful uh, colors and different textures just pop out from under, uh, underneath one another. So stick around, and you get to see what I do next. And actually, stick around for a minute. I'm going to show you the painting that I made, um, kind of mixing all these different paints together. All righty. Hey, so this is the painting I made um, last night, kind of combining the, the artist loft is the white here, also um, there's some red, I know I did add the red flash, this is actually artist loft as well, the air turquoise I believe, um, and it kind of worked well together, it really did. Um, I just kind of layered, I coated the whole painting with white, and I just poured it directly onto the uh, canvas, and just layered uh, the different types of paints, the uh, color shift, the gloss enamel, mixed with the pearl, I just went a little crazy, and I don't know if you could see the shifting, uh, it's a little hard because it's daylight, oh you can see some of the sparkle. Um, that's like the dragon, uh, flash, I believe, and that's the purple flash. Yeah, so, I just wanted to share that with you, and there it is. But today, yeah, I just poured directly onto the canvas, and then I tilted a bit. Uh, till I got this very cool, funky pattern. And I did get some weird cells in here. That's definitely from the other paint, not the Michaels um, Artist Loft paint, that's for sure. Um, but it's really nice and glossy. I just love it. I'm just loving experimenting with all these different types of paints and products and mediums. And I'm going to be getting some different types of mediums as well besides the flow troll and um, I did use Liquitex before and now the uh, artist uh, loft uh, pouring medium so you know soon I will be getting some different types of mediums as well there's so many of them and um, so stick around next will be uh, the actual painting okay all right see you in a few Hey guys, so I wanted to show you everything kind of laid out of what I'm using today. And it is a lot of materials. And um, I will be putting, you know, in the description all the materials I'm using. But this is nine different colors of paint and three different types of paint. And we got, I actually decided to use Floetrol instead of the Artist Loft Pouring Medium because I was kind of running out. And so let's start from the beginning. All right. So um, uh, let's just use this as an example, uh, this canvas here. So I'm going to be pretty much, you know, using, let's say, these colors and pouring it this way. All right, and in between those colors, I am going to be taking these, all right, and I'm going to kind of drizzle, um, like in a ribbon form, uh, in between the Artist Loft uh, Ready Mixed uh, Pouring Paint. So this one is the Gloss Enamel, okay? And I'll show you the bottle again. This is the gloss enamel in purple. Focus. And in here, I put in the pearl pigment in pearl white. Okay. So that's what's in that one. In this one, I put in, so here's the bottle. Uh, this is the lavender, and I put in this pigment, 
And in this little cup here, this is just the paint with Floetrol and water. So this is the red flash. And then those just have, uh, this is the Floetrol in here. And I strained the Floetrol this time. Um, I saw other channels, they were straining it, and now I know why. Because it can get kind of chunky, and then those chunks can get on your painting and pretty much ruin it, or like you have to touch the surface of it, and then you could potentially ruin your painting. So this Floetrol in here, and this has a little water. And uh, let's see, this is the Dragon Flash. Again, this has the Floetrol and water. And this is the Purple Flash. And Floetrol and water. And, yeah, so I'm using those four colors. And like I said, I'll put, you know, all the colors and the materials in the description. But it's a lot of stuff, so I wanted to kind of get a little more detailed with it today. And then after I pour the paint, I'm going to do, like like I said, I'm going to do the swipe technique. Um, and my swipe color is going to be actually uh, metallic white. Okay. And I'm going to be using aqua green, violet, and turquoise. All right. And then... After I do the swipe, I'm going to use, uh, not my coffee cup, but <laughs> uh, in here, I am going to be using the, uh, here we go, the spot on 100% silicone. Okay, that's what's in that cup. And then I am going to just dab it onto the canvas. Now, if you don't know what chameleon cells are, Here's a painting I did, the other painting that I used, um, <clears throat> this is really crazy, this one. I told you I was going crazy with the colors and everything. Uh, so these are chameleon cells here. And these are created by using uh, the silicone I just showed you. And basically I just took it on um, the little toothpick and I just kind of dabbed it on. Now some people use, um, you know, uh, a wide tooth comb, and those cells are more like regimented, like, you know, in a row. Me, I kind of like doing them kind of here and there and see what happens with it, um, not necessarily all in a line. So I was just experimenting with all these paints, so this was kind of like one of the experiments, and yeah. So the canvas I'm going to be using is not this small. I'm going to be using um, a 10 by 10 canvas. Uh, this was just for an example. All right, so that was a lot of information. Like I said, I'm going to be, you know, putting all the information uh, in the description box. And these are all my materials I'm using today. So this is going to be a nine color um, swipe technique with chameleon cells and I'm going to be using the color shift paint, gloss enamel and pearl X pigments and the ready mix paint by artist loft. So it's a lot. That's why I want to show it to you this way instead. All right. So stick around and hopefully this painting uh, comes out good. All right. All right. See you in a minute.
Okay, guys, so here it is. Wow, this came out really, really pretty. I just knew with all these colors and uh, the pigments and everything, this really came out so nice. I just love this. What do you think? You know, leave a little comment below. A lot of you guys have been commenting. Thank you so much. I love, you know, interaction with um, everyone out there. I think that's wonderful. So leave a comment. And, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This came out, you know, really beautiful. I'm really happy with it. Um, much better than the last uh, video I did with the experimenting. Um, but yeah, I really love this. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell so you never miss uh, one of my videos, okay? And leave a little comment, you know. I definitely um, respond quickly, and I love talking to you guys. And thank you guys so, so much for being here. I really hope you enjoyed this painting and using all of these materials. And uh, if anyone has any questions, you know, please leave me a little question or a comment, you know, like, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.